So, let me tell you the story about the one cent Fairpoint bill. Basically, about two years back, I decided to move into this location and I decided that I wanted to have my own internet. I run a YouTube channel, it's called Redneck Computer Geek. I'm a computer tech by trade, been doing it for over 15 years. And I figured, you know, Fairpoint, up and coming company, gonna be great, they'll have great service to make sure I get in. Well, I wish I could tell you how their service is, but two years later, I don't know. But yet, I got a one cent bill. Let me tell you the story of the one cent bill. So, back two years ago, I decided to sign up. Fairpoint did great. They sent me a package, had a modem in it, really chintzy network cable. Okay, we all know we replace those later. Phone line cable, okay, chintzy, but it is what it is. So, hooked it all up. No DSL signal. Hmm. Well, Fairpoint had already told me that the DSL signal would be running accessible by the time I got it. So I called Fairpoint, spoke with this really nice guy, walked me through everything, and he said unfortunately that they were delayed and it wasn't uncommon for us to get the modem and for it to take as much as three days for the service to be turned on. Okay, I'm in the service industry. I understand. So I said, okay, so I'll wait. So during this time, I had a lot going on in my life. And a week later, I still don't have any internet. So I call up. They have no record of my original phone call, even though I give them the info from the phone call along with their number that they gave me in order to call back if I had any problems. Okay, things happen. You can lose info. So, then, they tell me they're going to send out a technician. But first, they want me to check a few things. So, this lady on the phone, keep in mind, I'm a trained professional, been doing this for 15 years, treats me as if I have no bloody clue what I'm talking about, proceeds to have me drape a cable all the way from my second store win story window, all the way down the side of my house, plugged into the DSL modem that they provided with their telephone line, and see if I can get signal. After opening up the service box. Now, Along with this DSL, I am supposed to have phone service. I still don't have phone service at this time. Nor did I ever. So I'm on my own cell phone calling them. Which causes them to have issues. Why? Don't know. But they kept giving me issues for calling on my cell instead of the landline that still doesn't work. So I then drape this thing down the side of my house, have to open up the box. Oh, by the way, it's raining. And then, she tells me, oh, well you still don't have signal. We've double checked there's no filter. So we're gonna send a technician out. Now, okay. It's an old house. It was built in 1977. Perhaps there's an issue. So, they tell me they're gonna send a technician out in three days. So, we hit day four. Supposedly the technician would have been here by now. Look over at the DSL mode. No DSL, no DSL signal. So, I then take the modem, power it down as Fairpoint instructed, power it back on, still no signal. An hour and a half later, on the phone, finally I get through to a Fairpoint rep. <clears throat> nice young man on the phone says, oh, I'm sorry, sir, but your house was checked, and you have DSL signal at your box. Interesting. So yet again, part of Fairpoint, I drape a cable through my second story window, 
run it down to my basement, plug it into the jack where the guy supposedly tested my jack. Does not work. Excellent. So, Fairpoint technician, while on the phone, says that he will send me a modem. Okay, sure. Maybe it was a defective modem. I got no problem with that. I'll test another modem. So, another five days goes by. Modem shows up. Take the modem, plug it in. No DSL signal. Okay, I've had enough of this. So I call up Fairpoint, and then they tell me, oh, we're sorry. Maybe the technician marked the wrong house and didn't check yours. Okay, so first of all, they didn't apparently come the first time. Second of all, now they're coming again. So what do I do? I walk down to my telephone box. I take a garbage bag or a Hannaford's bag, and I tape it over the top of the box. Reason being, nobody's going to be home that day. I wanted to make sure whether the technician actually came. So, I get home at the end of the day, I walk down, there is still a bag on the telephone box, fully taped on. Not torn, not ruffled, still there. So I call up. Oh, well we're sorry. We weren't able to fit you in today. We'll show up tomorrow. Keep in mind, haven't told them about the bag. So, leave the bag on, go to work, come back, go back down, bag is still there. Decide to heck with it. Don't feel like dealing with it. So, I leave it, call up about five days later, bag is still on, mind you. Oh, yes, we stopped in. You should have DSL service now. Really? Double check modem, still no service. At this point, Fairpoint has managed to charge me for four months of phone service, DSL service, along with two late fees. I tell them they can stuff it, politely. So, over time, Fairpoint manages to rack me up about $268, and then they send me a notice in order to tell me they're going to shut off my service. Slight irony. So, I've now got my notice that I'm shut off, I now have a $268 bill, and I decide to tell Fairpoint they can stuff it. For some reason, I quit getting billed. Okay, whatever. So for two months, I don't get billed. I don't know why they didn't bill me. Probably because they figured out the fact they messed up. So I don't get a bill. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, I get this piece of paper from Fairpoint. It says, we have decided to evaluate your situation and we are going to cancel out all charges for the charge of $10 and 60 something cents. Well, at this point, I've been fighting with this situation for almost a year and a half now. And I've already decided to patch off my neighbor's Time Warner cable. So I really don't care so we send them in a check. Ten dollars and blah 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 cents. Well, two months goes by. I don't get a thank you from Fairpoint. I don't get anything. And then I go to pick up my mail. And then I look through it and there's a letter from Fairpoint. It's not a sales flyer. It's a letter. So I open it up wondering what the heck does Fairpoint want now. And Fairpoint has decided to charge me one cent past due. They want me to send them a check for one cent after two years of... Yeah, well, you get the idea. I'm sorry, Fairpoint. If you're watching this, 
if you found this video in your vastness of supreme capabilities, although the internet probably doesn't work at your place because you couldn't make it work at mine, but you know, no, you're not having one cent. So, what's my opinion on Fairpoint? Well, their service people, when you call in on the phone, are really nice. Very nice group of people. I have no issue with them. But Fairpoint in general, don't get it. That's coming from a technician that's been working on computers for over 15 years. I hate to see it happen, but Fairpoint needs to go away. I hope this helps you in your decision for an internet provider in this area. Time Warner Cable, you got my full support. I love your internet access. It actually works, and when need be, I can make a phone call through it. It's amazing. It's good to have service that works. Have a good day.